right, boys, we are back in a crazy draft deadline. Well, not too crazy, but the face of our franchise, well, the old face of our franchise, Vincent LeCavalier, is gone to the Montreal Canadiens alongside with Brad Stewart, and we picked up two young guns, Harper and who was that other guy? Oh, man, I forget that power forward's name. Harper was a nice sniper, and we picked up another young power forward as well. So we're going to take a look at what, they, uh, what their stats are. Um, maybe they'll get better over this little off-season switchover. I don't know. Um, but now we've got to re-sign our team. We have twenty million dollars to work with here. So that's seven mil. That uh, that seven and five mil that was tied up in Morrison and not Morrison in Stewart and LeCavalier. We would have only had seven mil to work with. Okay, so that's why we needed to dump some salary. All right. So let's work from the back end here. Goaltenders: Bernie Mac and Lynn Beck. We still have for one more year after this. Oh, no, sorry, we have for one more year. we got to re-sign them after this. So Lindbeck, we're probably not going to be able to re-sign. He's going to want like three or four mil. Um, so we're going to have to, hopefully one of these young guns get to an 80, 82, 83 overall by next year, and they can they can uh, take the backup spot, all right? Uh, Lundin, no, we're not going to re-sign him. Defenseman. All right, so Victor Hedman, look at this guy, 93 overall. Ugh. B, B, I mean, B-B, minus B, B, 93 overall. He's still getting better. You know, I'm not looking forward to next year, man. Next year's going to be tough to re-sign everybody. I got to re-sign. Look, I got to re-sign all my defensemen. Hedman, Shadden, Kirk, Ekman, Larson. I got to re-sign all these guys. All right. But, you know, um, hopefully I can sign them all for like eight years because, like, now they'll be ready for their long-term contract, right? Um, the good thing about it is Hedman and Ekman, Larson are still going to be restricted free agents. So if their salary is something crazy, I mean, we will be able to work around it and we won't lose them to free agency. Shattenkirk, however, if we decide not to sign him next year, he's going to go straight to free agency. So we won't be able to trade him. So I'm thinking next year, you know, I mean, we got to sign Hedman. And if I had to pick Shattenkirk or Ekman Larson, I'd pick Shattenkirk. Because then we could send Ekman Larson a qualifying offer and trade him for another young defenseman. You don't want to just let an asset like this walk away. You need to get something back for him. All right, um, and yes, Ekman Larson's a great offensive defenseman, but if Bolu turns out to what we think he's turning out to be, he could be our new offensive defenseman of the future. All right, and he's going to come up next year as well, so we can sign him long term. Um, so we have Hedman, Shattenkirk, Ekman Larson, Alan Leopold, they're staying, and Bolu. That was our top six. Now, Ballard is here. How much does Ballard want? First of all, he's 32 overall, uh, 32 years old, 82 overall, sorry. Um, two-way defenseman, he's a great player, he is good in the offense and defensive category, he's perfect for that third line, but how much does he want? If he wants less than like 2.5, he wants 2.3? Man, I think I might have to sign him and, and just, uh, well, you know what, I'll sign him last, because I was thinking Bolu would come up, but man, oh, yeah, hang on, I'll have to, I'll have to rethink about that, hang on a sec, let's see how much cash we have after we re-sign our, our key players here. So Dustin Brown and Connolly, they're going to be up next year as well. Everyone's coming up next year. Oh, it's going to be a busy day for me. Uh, Simmons, all right, we definitely have to re-sign this guy. Great player for us. How much does he want? He wants 4.495. God damn, you want a lot. All right, so I'll remember that. Man, next year's not going to be fun. <laughs> next year's not going to be fun. Uh, Lemieux. All right, these are our, 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 our young grinders ready to go yet. Uh... Yeah, his defensive category is looking good. He can he can probably play now, if not one more year after. Um, let me just see who I have to sign. I'm not going to try to sign them just yet. Let me see. Let me wait and see. All right. Left wingers. Uh, wait, wait, where was that Ty Hand guy? Was he any good? I didn't check him. Uh, Ty Hand. Oh, I thought he was good. See potential. Horrible first round pick. Oh, my God. CCC. Horrible. Horrible. That's all right, though. Don't worry about it. Um... Jordan Subban still has B. Look at all the B-minus defensemen we have coming up. So defensemen's looking good. So that's what I'm saying about uh, Shattenkirk. Ekman Larson, he might be able to get passed by somebody down here eventually, right? So we'll get back to that. Uh, Simmons, so i got to resign Simmons. Lemieux, how much do you want? I think he, I, could, I could probably get him for a two-way contract still. Yeah, I can. You know what? Let me try and get him for a one-way contract. And let me try to get it at eight years. And let's try to steal him at 7.5 for eight years, okay? Yeah, let's try to steal this guy. If he doesn't, I'll just send him a two-way contract. Um, all right, that's all the right wingers. Left wingers. Uh, Taylor Pyatt, no, we don't need you. You were a waiver pickup. Goodbye, release. There you go. Uh, a Golden, here's my other guy. Is he ready to go now as well? 
Um, he's not as ready as Lemieux. He's getting there. He's not as ready as Lemieux. But let's see if we can re-sign this guy to the eight-year contract as well, just like Lemieux. Yeah, he can accept a two-way, so let's give him a one-way. Eight years at .75. There you go. All right. Um, all these young guys. Yeah, we don't need to re-sign these guys just yet. Uh, centers, see what I mean? Stamkos, he's going to want at least 12 mil next year, man. 96 overall. He's good. But you know what? He still has a restricted free agent, so I'll be able to tender a qualifying offer to him, which will be good. Uh, Joe Thornton, we have got to sign Joe Thornton. We can't just let him walk away. Uh, Grandland, we've got to re-sign. Um, and that's pretty much it. All right, so we're going to be able to afford everyone this year. Yeah, we definitely need to get rid of... Uh, of um, what's it called, the Cavalier, seven million dollars. I mean, we we just we had to be done. It had to be done. So let's get these guys signed. All right. Uh, let's start with Big Joe. Yeah, we need to get Big Joe back. Absolutely. He wants. Uh, I'll give you two years at five mil because if he doesn't retire again, oh man, I'm thinking about keeping him for another year. I know, boys. I know. But he was a playoff performer for us. Yes, he's got the D, but he won't go down over the course of the regular season. That D. Once the off-season switchover happens, that's when you'll see him drop. All right, remember back in New Jersey when we had Joe Thornton? We kept him for year five. The same year right now, he had his D, and he actually went up in an overall because he had a good season. The D only matters in the off-season switchover, okay? They can still have good regular seasons and still go up. Um, so I'll think twice about that. Granlin, Granny, we've got to sign. Can we get him long-term? He wants four mil. Yeah, I wouldn't mind signing him long-term right now. So I'll try to get you for eight years at six, 3.65, all right? Because he's only going to want more next year. Absolutely. Uh, left wingers, let's see. A golden, yeah, we already tried you. All right. Um, now, where were those two Where were those two young guys? Yes, it was Graves. Was it Graves or it was Harper? Who was the other guy? It was a power forward. Was it Graves? Josh Graves? I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah, power forward. So here's one of the guys we got from uh, Montreal. Uh, he's 22 years old, at A- minus for the offensive category, and his offensive category is already good enough to play. B for the de defensive category, and that is getting better, and it still has a B. C for their athleticism, fine, that's okay, we can get away with that. Um, if anything, if he doesn't produce because of that athleticism, he could be another trade asset of the future. Remember, that A- minus is, um, especially in the offensive category, that will make his trade value skyrocket. Harper, though, this guy's NHL ready for us right now. Um, his offensive category, it's a bit weak, but he can get by on it, and he has the A- minus as well. This is what I mean. This is like a, a quick rebuilding year, all right? Four, we had four years where we were trying to win the Stanley Cup. We got it done in year four. We're going to go back to a one-year rebuild so that our last five years, we are just going to be a young stud of a team, all right? Yeah, we need to get these guys NHL playing time, though. So Graves and Harper, that was the two guys I picked up for LeCavalier and Stewart. A 22-year-old and a 20-year-old. They got 15 years in them. Hell yeah, baby. Um, all right, all these guys, yep, don't need any of them. Uh, Simmons. I think I actually want to try and sign Simmons long-term. He only wants one year. I'll try to sign him to something crazy, all right, uh, just to see if I can steal him because we're a Stanley Cup winning team, so the value in our team is pretty high. If I can get you for eight years at 3.75, that's, that's good. All right, that is good. I like that. Um, all right, Lemieux. We already tried to sign you. Uh, defenseman, Ballard, we're going to wait uh, Gan Gannon, let's see this guy's turning out to be, 22 years old, B, C, B, uh, he's kind of crap because that defensive category and it's C, and we have plenty of better young defensemen, how much does he want, yeah, he's going to want a one-way contract, uh, oh, he wants, oh, no, he does want a one-way contract, you know what, I don't want to resign this guy, I'm going to tender a qualifying offer and I'm going to trade him in free agency, okay, uh, Saxford Danielson, I think the same thing for this guy, let's see, uh, B minus B, B minus two way defenseman. Thing is, he's like 22 years old. Uh, you know what? I think I can actually sign him to a two way. So I'll get him on a two way. Yeah, I can. All right, two way contract at three years. He gets one last two way contract. All these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see who signed. It'd be great if we could have got those two grinders for uh, 0.75 mil. It'd be great. Come on, boys. All right, so Joel Thornton's coming back for two years. So. If we decide to keep him for another year, then we can trade. We'll definitely have the contract length that we can trade him next draft deadline, okay? He probably won't be that good. He'll probably be let down at 84, 85 overall. But you know what? We can still tie him in with another player to move up, all right? So 
I don't know. We're still going to have to decide on Joe Thornton. Wayne Simmons, no, he's only looking for a one-year deal. Uh, Grandlin, same thing. Uh, Lemieux doesn't want to come back. A Golden, so we got a Golden for eight years. So that's good. Eight years at .75. Sacks for Danielson. All right. So the players that we still need to sign, we have $16 million. That's more than enough. I'm not liking Simmons' contract, man. This guy, uh, I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this at all. The, I, I don't mind it for this year, but next year I'm not going to be able to afford to give Wayne Simmons freaking five mil. Uh, he's a good player, don't get me wrong. But why does he want so much freaking money, man? Mm -mm -mm. I don't like that. All right, I'm going to give him two years. And I'll, I'll do a, a quick math check by next year. But if we're pushing salary, he gets traded at next year's draft deadline. We pick up a better third liner, a younger third liner. He's, he's just wanting too much money, okay? It's just too much. So I'll give you two years at four mil. He probably won't want that either. Uh, Gannon, we're not going to sign. Grandland, all right. You want three. I'm going to give you a one. I'm going to give you a one year because I'm going to re-sign him next year for sure. But I want to get you long term. I don't want to give you three because in three years you're going to want like six mil or something like that. So I want to get you at long term contract next year. Okay, so one one year, 3.75. Uh, Lemieux. So we couldn't get him for the eight years. Let's try it again though. Okay, let's try it eight years again. At We tried him at 0 .75 last time. Let's try it at 0.9. All right. Hey, that's a big upgrade from what he's asking for, so that's why they may accept it. Ballard, we'll hold on to Ballard for now. Um, all right, so there you go. Oh, 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 I didn't have to do that. My bad. I can just go ahead right here. All right, simulation. There you go. Advance to the next day. Let's see what happens here. Oh, come on, Simmons. Come back. All right, so we got Simmons for two more years. So I'm not saying that we're going to trade him for sure, but at next year's draft deadline, we're going to see how much salary we have to work with. And if we're pushing our cap with the Stamkos, then we're going to trade him at next year's draft deadline, all right? We can pick up another third liner for him. Uh, Grandlin's back for one year, perfect. Lemieux, he wants a contract length more to his liking. All right, so we'll try it one more time with Lemieux. If not, we'll give him the we'll give him the three-way, yeah, we'll give him the two-year, or the two-way, uh, three-year deal. All right, so Lemieux, we'll try him one more time. I would love to just get this guy for eight years. Uh, there you go. We'll give him one mil. One mil for eight years. All right, that's $8 million you're going to be making over the next eight years, buddy. Come on, that's good for a grinder. 22 years old. Uh, Gannon, no. Ballard, yeah, we can re-sign Ballard. Yeah, I'm going to re-sign him. He only wanted 2.5. And uh, if, I, if we're going to trade Joe Thornton, we can trade him. And I'm going to sign him to two years, which he wants. So next year's draft deadline, there's another trade asset. All right, so there you go. Two years, 2.5. Simulation, there you go. So Ballard's coming back. No, okay, I'm not going to be able to get Lemieux. He just does not want to sign that eight-year-long deal. All right, so let's just get Lemieux for... Uh, he wants a two-way two contract for one year. No, I'll get a two-way contract for three years, okay? There you go. I don't want to have to worry about your contract next year as well. So three years for Lemieux. Simulation. I'm not going to sign Gannon. Uh, there you go. Perfect. All right. So we got everyone signed, and we still have $10 million left. So we actually could have uh, afforded Le Cavalier this year, but you know what? We needed to trade one of the, we needed to trade them away. We're better for it now. We are.